Grantly, hi, it's Ken Schroeder, a website designer for coaches, and I'm over at coachingsitesthatwork.com. And uh, let me review your website. I will spend 10 minutes on it and share with you my best ideas uh, for improving it, to make it exciting, engaging, so that potential clients will uh, you know, want to contact you. Okay, uh, let me dive in. Um, okay, so I just pulled up your website. I haven't looked at it at all. I like coming in fresh and just getting my gut instinct responses. And um, great, so I know you are on elegant themes and you're using uh, WordPress, which those are the two things that I use as well. And, um, and getting things positioned, you're probably using the Divi theme. Um, getting things positioned right can be a little tough. It looks overall looks like looks like you did pretty good with it at first. Let's see, which theme Divi, yeah. Um, okay, so let me dive in. So things that I like. Okay, good. Got your logo in the upper left corner. That's good. Nice position. I'll maybe make that a little bit smaller. Um, uh, websites, uh, websites. I like when the content is really about the client and you bring that forward first. So I know you put some effort to design it. Um, and usually coaches take pride in their logo and they want to feel good about it, which is good. But a client's just, when they come through, they just see it there and they just want it as a point of reference. Maybe some branding in it so it feels right and professional. Um, but I would make that smaller. I don't think it needs to be so big. Um, I would make the menu items bigger. And uh, if, you're, if you've logged into WordPress and you're editing, if you just click on the upper left, or if you move the mouse to the upper left of WordPress, the black bar, there's um, a theme customizer section there. And that's where you, you can quickly make the font sizes uh, of the menu bigger. Good menu label items. Um, they're obvious. Book a call. Work with me. About. Um, a little strange with this other stuff here. Um, but at least this other stuff is not making it confusing. I guess it's up here at the top. And if I click on your, what is this? Instagram, I'm going to click on it and let me see if anything's there because it's really not something you were hoping to do. You're not really doing anything there that I probably wouldn't put it there. One post, seven followers. Um, and this one post was from da -da -da -da, September 24th. So at least that's something, oh, that's a couple of months ago. So like if you haven't done anything with Instagram and you're not doing anything with it, I'd remove it. So um, on websites, I don't really, I recommend you don't put up stuff that doesn't exist or it's not active. It's more of a credibility hurt than a, you know, it makes people think that there's nothing going on here that is dead. So um, if you don't have anything going on there and aren't doing anything, then I wouldn't put it there. I would remove those things. Twitter, I'm going to check Twitter. This is what people think of, you know, when they come to a website, you know, it's, it's so much, so much mess and chaos out there. They have to figure out this thing even exists or if it's even you know happening. You know, I go to a web page that you know you you look up an article and you go to it and you're like, okay, this article's you know, this is telling me how to do something, but is it and then and then is it from three, five, ten years ago? You know, some articles of ten years ago are good, some articles from ten years ago are just too dated, especially technology stuff. Anyway, Toronto chapter, here's a tweet and uh, who to follow? It's not a tweet, actually. So, do you have anything going on? Joined May. No followers. Not following anyone. You might want to start following some people to make it look like it's not empty. So already, I'm I'm starting to see that it's kind of like nothing going on. So that's going to start hurting my whether I'm going to spend time here. Um. Okay. So uh, let me go back to other things I like. Um, I I like a logo and menu at the top. Um, smaller logo would force the menu up higher, which would be good. So then more content would show up. Um, this is great, by the way. I, mean, I looked at this before. Ex-military, difficult transition into civilian life. Let me help. Uh, feeling a bit stuck, lost, enthusiasm for life, no focus direction anymore. Uh, I'm not sure what has gone. I can help. Okay, so this is good. You're targeting military, military people transitioning into civilian life. Um, so that's good. I think that's a good focus. I've seen coaches do this and have others have succeeded before. Um, 
Let's chat, schedule a free 30 minute call. That's cool that it's prominent and a button here. It's a little hard to read with white on yellow. Um, I would make that black on yellow to be more obvious to read. Light colors on a light background is hard to read. Um, and by the way, this image in the back feels kind of like dead and dreary. Um, it's, it's, it's like lost its color and it's, you know, and then you have a smiling face here. It's a little bit of a um, conflict. I'm starting to get a feeling of stuff is just not glued together. I see that you've cropped your face out in your best effort, in your, your geek effort to clean it out. You might want to use, if you're using Photoshop, you might want to use the uh, background eraser and then click on the white spots here and it'll erase white, the white bit. Um, so I, I don't, yeah, it's a little like foggy, you know, the, your picture and the smile and the collared shirt doesn't fit to me where you'd be out in the, it looks kind of cold and dreary over here. Where is that place? Hmm. Uh, it looks like it could be a nice picture. Maybe have a picture with life in it. Um, so I'm not sure you're trying to get across there, but it's just a bit of a conflict there. Are you trying to make it look like you're helping someone out of the dark? Maybe. I don't know. It's not really what I'm getting. Um, okay. Video. Okay, that's cool. That's something. Um, good. It's really good that you have a message here that kind of summarizes what you're about. I think that's a good thing for people to do. So when, when, when visitors come, they know they already got a good sense of why they should be here. You know, what the site is. It's you as a coach. You might want to put your name in here, actually. I say, hi, I, I'm, uh, how do you say your name again? Grantley Clapham. Hi, I'm Grantley Clapham. Uh, and I help military, ex-military find enthusiasm, get focused. Um, and you know, live a live a whatever a full enjoyable life back in the real world or back in the unreal world, whatever you want to call it. Um, cool. So you're saying I can help. Here's my face, but I don't know who you are. So a little bit of a disconnect there. So Grantley's up there at something, but maybe get your name in there. All right, here you are, a video, help for ex-military veterans. Fantastic, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not gonna click on it yet, um, because I wanna see what's, co what's cooking. Services, about me. The, thing, the weird thing with the Divi font is that they start off with a really light gray. They make everything light gray, and it might be okay for the, for the font initially, but it's just too light. And it just the, the the yeah, it's just too light. Make it a little bit darker. Hey, look, can you see how much easier it is to read? Your colors are blue, so let's get a dark blue or something like that. And there you are. Okay, see how much better that is. Now watch when I remove the, the dark color. Now it's just faded and, and, and dusty and gone. Um, maybe my eye. Maybe I'm getting old. My eyes are getting worse. But look at this, they also they have a small font too. So I'm on, I'm on a MacBook Air 13 inch, and this is real tough to, for me to read. I, you know, I start to resist. And when people resist websites from confusion, di difficult to read, getting lost, all this stuff, then people, they just go, they don't stick around. And there's so much mess out there. Um, so you just keep this, I would make this, I would make this um, darker and bigger. Okay, I mean, it's too big, 16. See, see how much easier that is to read? Much better. Okay, so just look at your font sizes and colors. This is gonna be real impossible to read. Here, over here. Um, the thing I also don't recommend, I don't recommend having too many, I don't know why it's centering it, but whatever. Um, too many different kinds of fonts and sizes, and then you get, you get a mess to deal with. Um, that's a little bit easier to read. See that? A moment ago, this font here, let me just resort back to what it was. That, I gotta read that, I'm not reading it, forget it. Um, okay, blue and yellow, cool, cool colors, that's pretty good. Let's have you look at your video.
help for X okay, vitamins. Uh, you know what? I have my um I have my microphone plugged in, which is stopping me from hearing anything. So I'm not gonna comment on the video. Uh, except overall it does look like um pretty cool. Nice position um in the video. That's good. I haven't heard it, so I don't know what's what's saying. By the way, there's a way if you want to geek out to stop these videos, other videos from showing up at the end. As you can see, I've been watching some MMA videos lately. These are videos that are recommended to me based on my viewing um, stuff. That's quite a bit. Uh, what was I going to say? Let's close that down. Um, so there's a way you can tweak it so it doesn't show these relevant videos. Uh, that's somewhere. I have to look it up. But you can search online for it and get lost in technology for hours and finally get it done in three weeks later. <laughs> Um, okay, also your one other thing I will mention um, before I finish up is your website is not on a secure server. So, um, what, and what I'm getting is up here in the top, you can see this word not secure. And that's not too big a deal. And your website's not collecting like bank information, so that's not a, too big a deal either. But more and more Google and security is you know, on people's minds and the concerns um, that when you see the word not secure, it's going to turn people off. And, um, you know, little alerts pop up and more and more it'll be so saying this, web, this website is not on a secure server or your information is not safe here and it's going to turn people off. So you want to put this on a secure server. It's either you pay something or it's free at your host company and then the, the, this message goes away and then it says HTTPS instead of just HTTP. And that's good just for good practice, good customer service. Security, uh, security, yeah, but you're not asking people to put sensitive information here, so it's not really too much about that. Just more about you don't want people to feel hesitant or that your website is dated and, and those kind of things that you're, you're not, you're, uh, you're not um, yeah, you don't want it to just have a, 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 that mark against you. Um, okay, so that's it for now. And um, ooh, let me go back here. With my face, with my face, there you are. Okay, Grant Lee, Ken Schroeder here, and um, I hope you find this helpful. Um, in the comments, can you post what you are finding most helpful in this video? And um, again, I hope you found some use out of it. I will see you in our group.